I'm Anthony Gethers. And I'm Greg Weiss. And, and we, we are, are the hosts of Case for Bass. Hey, everybody. My name is Billy Sheehan. I'm a bass player. You're here with me on Case for Bass with my dear friends Anthony and Greg. Enjoy yourself. I have a question from one of our group, um, one of our Case for Bass group, uh, members. His name is Adam Bronner. He wants to know if and when you'll ever put out another Niacin album. I don't know. Um, the keyboard player lives in Nashville, where I live now too. I see him around once in a while, and we did a uh, we did a special benefit show for uh, uh, for uh, uh, sadly for someone who lost their life. Uh, and Dennis flew in, and we did like five, four or five nice and songs for it. Uh, okay. uh, so uh, it was. Uh, we're still in touch. I love okay. I love that band. Playing with Dennis changed my life. Man. The great videos, the, the the live in Tokyo. Yeah was just it, it's just all inspiring to hear you in another venue in another style of you know outside outside loud and proud to to uh to a more um uh what's the term i don't want to say jazzy but it's very progressive a bit though a bit yeah. for sure and dennis was uh and i played with straight up two four rock drummers my whole life and suddenly dennis chambers comes along and there's a whole new, different way of looking at time. Yeah. And I was like, uh, the whole world opened up to me. Mm. And uh, I learned so much from him. The main thing I learned, we did this song, I, 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 I forgot it was called, a weird name. But it was just this repeating leap. Claghorn, that was the name of it. And, uh, and then we'd stop, and Dennis would go. Now, we're still playing behind him quietly. And uh, Dennis knew I was getting my time from him. I was relying on him for what the tempo was, what the changes were, what the time was. And he knew it. And he was about to punish me for doing for making such a terrible mm -hmm. mistake. So we went, uh, do chicka dicka da do da 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 here he goes da 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 he starts to solo and it's, it's all, all, and you, he knew where he was and he was in time but he was mm -hmm. doing a speed up slow down syncopated and he went around it and threw it I was utterly lost wow. and I'm sitting at the baked potato with people sitting a foot and a half away from me and I'm completely lost and he's looking at me smiling you don't know where you are, do you? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you later. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, on the break, <laughs> he goes, "You, you don't know." So I, he eventually had mercy on me and indicated to me where he was. And so I said, "Okay, I never. That's never gonna happen to me again." So from then on, I keep time my, myself, sync it with the rest of the band, and that's how I keep time. But I'm always. My foot is always moving. Something's always moving. I'm always in my own thing, connected. But never will I rely on somebody else to give me the time. And uh, I think that is a very important uh, lesson to learn. Awesome. Uh, even though I probably, you know, had done that, but had lost sight of it. But Dennis was a, was a, every time I played with him, it was a, I would learn more about feel and how he would cut things up and his. Uh, dedication is uh just brilliance he, he's a uh, really one of the greatest musicians uh, I've, I've ever known maybe the greatest musician 